Hello, 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 and welcome back. So, we found the helmet crabs, and now we can sustainably farm them for, uh, night metal. So, let me, uh, oh wait, crap, opened up, uh, Microsoft Edge, the Windows 10 browser. Yes, that's right, helmet crabs. Spawn for me. Spawn for me, helmet crabs. I'll light up over here so that they can only spawn in one place. Oh wait, there's more. There's more helmet crabs in here. That's good, that's good. So I guess that's okay. Let's see. Mm. Not really interested in. Oh wait, we have a charm of life. Okay. So. Yeah. getting a ton of armor shards, which is really good. Oh, damn. Lag spike. Let's see, you need nine night metal a piece to make a um, night metal block. Actually, let me just wall this in for a second so I can do a little bit of calculation. So, the use of these armor shards is to make an armor shard cluster. The use of the night metal ingots is to make the night metal loop. And, okay, so we'll need 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, if it takes 9 night metal shards to make 1 ingot, so that's 9 times 16... Ah, uh, shit, that's a lot. Ah, uh, crap. There has to be a more dependable way. I mean, the Night Metal Helm gave us a good amount, but that's only five. So, you know, it's...
Hmm. Yeah, these armor shards are stacking up quick. <sighs> okay. So, 90 times 10... Actually, hold on. Let me do some calculations for a moment here. No, wait. Not 90 times 10. 9 times 16. What am I thinking? A hundred and forty-four. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. In order to make this, we'll need we will need a hundred and forty-four night metal armor shards. We only have 37 right now. 39 now. <sighs> of course, the night metal is also only a um, means to an end. See? See, you use this to make this. You use this to make this. Then you use this to make this. Oh, uh, I wonder if the knightly axe does more damage to these crabs. another weapon that's added by Twilight Forest that I'm interested in. Okay. Let's see here. It should be in this. Ah! Yes, Talisman of the Cube, and the Cube of Annihilation. I wish I knew how to make get these. I mean, only has repair stuff. Hmm. So I'll have to look into how to get hold of the Talisman of the Cube and the Cube of Annihilation. Because those will be interesting items to use indeed. Because they have a similar use to the item I'm trying to make. Except it does a hell of a lot more damage and just rips through terrain like a manulium pickaxe through butter. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to keep going like this, uh, for a while, probably. Um, I'm not gonna cut, though, <laughs> because it's my understanding that many of you are here because you don't care about Minecraft all that much, you just want the content. You want to hear the commentary. 
Yeah, entertainment's no longer about the content, it's about the commentary. Hmm. Depressing statistic. Okay, so we're, we're at 64 so far. We have 64 armor shards. Very nice. A random knight decided to walk up and drop all of his armor. Saved me a good deal of trouble. See, this is the part of playing Minecraft that a lot of people get bored of, the grinding. I, I get bored of it, too. It's, it's not that fun, honestly. We need to get back to ordering the minions to mine for us. Because they've gotten us a lot of good stuff. Hmm. Let's see. So 64 plus 16. That should be... 80? Yeah. Yep, that's 80. So we're getting closer. Of course, that's not counting the ingots that we got from the Knight Helmet. You know, I just realized these were statues of a knight with horns on his head, holding his blade thrust into the ground. The issue with that is, the knight that we saw wasn't nearly as big. Okay, you know what, um, so, here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these to, um, I'm going to put these two spawners down for now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a waypoint right here, so we can get back here easily.
and I'm going to end the recording right around here, and we're going to do some grinding off camera, okay? So I'll see you all next time.